Hey guys, it's Joanna. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here that I've got. Um, this is like a glitter, halo eye kind of a smoky look with a nude lip um, and just sort of glowy skin. So if you want to see how to create this makeup tutorial, then please keep on watching. I'm starting off with skincare. I'm going to be using the Cranberry Toner by Arcona because I absolutely love this. I'm just going to be putting this on a cotton pad and just wipe this all over my face. Oh my god, this smells so good. Like, you need to smell this and it's not an artificial scent. It's natural. You will die. It's so good. Like, it smells amazing. Because I'm excessive, I'm going in with the June Jacobs Neroli Hydrating Mist on my face. Just spraying that. So, I'm nice and hydrated. For serum, I'm going into the Hosanna uh, H2O Intensive Skin Plumping Serum by Antipodes. I'm just going to, it just comes in a dropper, so I'm taking a drop of that in my hand and I'm just patting this into my skin. Serum um, sinks in better if you have damp skin so I've got damp skin from the mist and that will just help the serum sink in better finally for moisturizer I'm taking the uh, philosophy take a deep breath oil free gel cream moisturizer so I'm just taking that on my hand and I'm moisturizing my entire face for lips, I am taking this thing that I bought, like yesterday. This is the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Extreme Plump Lip Gloss. Like a plumping lip gloss. So I'm just going to plump my lips. So it just comes in a tube like that. And I'm going to be testing this out. Moving on to priming my face, I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And I'm just going to spray this all over my face. I'm taking the Mecca Cosmetica Smoothing Primer. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to focus that on my T-zone to smooth it out. While we're at it, I'm just going to add that to my cheeks as well. For eye primer, I'm taking the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base and I'm just going to prime my eyelids now. And for foundation, I'm taking the Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick and I'm just going to put this all over my face. Just swipe it. I'm taking my Beauty Blender Pro and I'm going to blend this out. To color correct my under eye, I'm taking the Smashbox Photo Finish Color Correcting Stick in the shade Dark. And I'm just going to place that under my eyes. For concealer, I'm taking the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and I'm just going to apply this under my eyes to conceal the orangeness that I put under my eyes and to brighten. And I'm going to set that with the Benefit The Professional Agent Zero Shine Powder. The entire face, I'm using the Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder. This is what it looks like and I'm just going to use this to set the my whole face. I'm using the Too Faced Mr. Right brush to do that. 
For bronzer, I'm taking the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And I'm just going to bronze up the perimeters of my face. For blush, I'm taking the Essence Silky Touch Blush in the shade 80 um, Autumn Peach. For highlight, I'm taking the Estee Lauder uh, Illuminating Powder Gelée in the shade Heat Wave. Look how beautiful that is. So I'm just taking that on a Zoeva 134 Luxe Powder Fusion Brush. I'm just going to oh, 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 pop that on the tops of my cheekbones. I'm going to spray my face with some Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. For brows, I'm taking the L'Oreal Brow Artist Expert in the shade Dark Brunette. No, Ebony. So it's quite dark. This is actually in my project pan, so I'm trying to use it up. I'm just going to brush my brows and just fill them in. Just set my brows in place. I'm using the Benefit Gimme Brow. I'm using the NYX Wonder Pencil in the shade Deep to highlight under my brows. For eyeshadow, I'm taking the Balm Meet Matrimony palette and this is a palette full of mattes. So I'm going to use these on my eyes today with a pop of colour from Colourpop. First I'm taking the shade Matte Lopez, which is that one there, on a Model to Prefer crease brush and I'm just putting that on my crease. With that same brush, I'm taking the shade Matte Kumar, which is in the middle there. And I'm just putting that on my crease as well. Just on top of the previous shade. Then I'm taking a teeny tiny brush, um, and this is the Zoeva 238 Luxe Precise Shader. And I'm taking the shade Matte Ahmed, which is the dark, like deep black shade. I'm just taking that, and I'm going to place that on my inner lid. And outer lid. I'm just using a clean crease brush to blend that so there's no harsh lines. I'm taking some Too Faced Glitter Glue and placing that on the middle where I didn't put the black. I'm taking the Colourpop Single Shadow in the shade Half Light, which is their Ultra Glitter Formula. This is what it looks like. It's so beautiful. I'm using it for the first time. I'm using my fingers and packing that in the middle. Like I'm actually dying at this. It's so beautiful. I'm going back with that mini brush and I'm taking that black shade again and I'm kind of blending it all together so it doesn't look what do you mean separated like you want to blend the harsh lines together and I'm going in with that blending brush and I'm blending out the crease I'm going into my heat wave highlighter and I'm taking a small brush and highlighting my brow bone. The same brush that I used the black in, I am taking that black shade and I'm going to 
place it very close to my lower lash line. I'm taking the shade Matte Kumar, which is that burgundy matte shade, on a small like pencil brush and I'm going to put that on top of the black on the lower lash line and blend it out. Then I'm putting some heat wave on my inner corner. Lashes, I'm taking the EXO Beauty The Chic Lashes. Never tried these before. This is what they look like. I'm going to go apply this on my eyes and I'll be right back. While my lashes are drying, I'm going to go do my lips. Going in with the MAC Lip Liner in Spice. I'm just going to line my lips. I'm taking the Colourpop Lippy Stick in the shade Can't Wait, which is like a nude colour, and I'm just going to pop this on top. Taking the Maybelline Setting Spray, set my whole face. To finish off the eyes, I'm just taking the Maybelline Master Precise Eyeliner. And I'm lining my lash band. On my waterline and tight line, I'm going in with the Ma Maybelline Master Precise Skinny Eyeliner. Why won't it twist up? Great, because there's no product in here, so we're going to grab another liner. I'm going in with the Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Cold Kajal. For mascara, I'm going with the Tarte Tartist uh, Lash Paint. And I'm just going to load that on my bottom lashes. That's the finished look. I'm just going to go fix my hair and I'll be right back. So that is the finished look. It's so pretty. I love this Colourpop eyeshadow. I'm loving the look I created. Oh, it's so beautiful. Anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. All the products will be listed down in the description box uh, if you want to know the shades and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, if you recreate this look, please tag me on Instagram at Chuana Beauty. Go follow me because I post um, flat lays and makeup looks and things like that um, but yeah anyways please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video bye